inside my indie life. <laughs> you love me. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't know where to go. He's like, what do I say now? I don't even know how to follow that up. <laughs> okay, so now, how, how many times do you work for, for this young man? How many times have I worked for you? I was talking about paid or unpaid. <laughs> well, I feel like work for her every day. Every day when I'm like, tweet, Heather Dorf. Make, make some bad Facebook posts, Heather Dorf. All right. <laughs> right? Um, no, she's been in uh, two of my movies that I directed. You've been in uh, promos I've done, uh, things that I've worked on that I'm not the director on. And then we do a little web show. Uh, called Scream Queen Stream. Nice. Tell me about that. Well, let Heather Dorf do some talking. No. Awesome. Why? Um, okay, so just keep that eye fixed face towards that thing right there for those who care. <laughs> yep. So, Scream Queen Stream is a weekly web series where uh, you kind of get a behind the scenes look at our lives, uh, living in Los Angeles and crazy things we get up to. Um, again, you know, half of it's fun, us doing challenges and pranking each other, and the other half is like behind the scenes where we're on set and we're, you know, traveling for film. Um, it's super fun. It's just meant to be silly and connect with our fans and friends um, and just kind of, you know, keep in touch with everyone. Again, it's super fun if you want to see us slamming eggs on top of each other's heads and being drunkenly jumping into ball pits. It's definitely the show for you. Which, by the way, she does anyways, and I was just like, I should film this. <laughs> right? Like, more people than just me should enjoy this. <laughs> and also, I would like video evidence of this. Uh, A, so that everyone knows that I advised against it. <laughs> repeatedly and strongly. And B, so I can watch it over and over again, 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 and over again. Because the only thing worse than having the time of your life is having no video record of that. That. And now that we live in the world of everyone having a camera phone, ta da! Yeah. Uh, why not memorialize it for life? For life. Yeah. For life. So, so talk to me about Trooper Dinner. Because uh, we're not playing it, just so y'all know. This is his family friendly. I mean, we could play it. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, you know how, you know how the, the, the black guy who dies in horror movies first, right? <laughs> If you have ice cream in the movie, he lives. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that's because he's a brand name. <laughs> I'm a hawk. I, I love you, Hawk, but you're not ice cream. <laughs> Get me ice cube, and I'll consider letting you live till the oh, second yeah. act. <laughs> I did that or else I'd have to have sex with someone. What? <laughs> Alright, wait, there are children. <laughs> Back to the movie. <laughs> so, Truth and Dare is my graphic fun torture film. It was the first film I ever directed. Uh, I also starred in the movie, which is a nightmare and I don't recommend it. Uh, it is about a group of friends who get overnight internet fame by playing fake Truth and Dare on games online on their own YouTube channel. You'll start to see a trend there. Uh, and everything goes horribly awry when their number one fan decides he wants to play. What is the worst thing that she had to pull off for you? I mean, I feel like we're not allowed to discuss it because there are children here. And bosses. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure you can't. No. It's too late. It's already yeah, seven years for it. <laughs> no. I mean, no, I will tell you though, filming Truth or Dare, it was definitely her out in the middle of the desert, like out past Palm Springs and something called the Palm Sea, never go there. Uh, it was very hot, and we film, we generally have to trap air conditioning, any like right, right. white noise in the background. So we're sitting in this like room, tied up, covered in blood on the floor, uh, in 100 degree weather, and it was still a darn good time. I'm like, I had so <laughs> much fun. I think the best part about the film. <laughs> If you like horror films, I think uh, you'll really appreciate Truth or Dare because it's all practical effects. There's no some AI. So it's all done, you know, homage to how it should be done. Right. You know? Right. Uh, it is really graphic, so not for children, but I think it's super fun. It's a really good watch, and like Jess said, it's her first directorial debut, and it's very successful. So. Nice. I like to win. I'm feeling the love of you. So. So, 
I'm, I, I noticed how you didn't answer the question. I did notice that. What? Which one? <laughs> so, What's the, the worst thing? So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm make it a little bit simpler. What's the worst clip on your blooper reel you have on her? God. Okay, uh, there's a scene where Heather, in character, has to remove a cancerous appendage from another uh, male cast member. <laughs> a very painful appendage to remove. <laughs> For a male. I'm just trying to have jokes here. <laughs> What's going on? I keep it real, yo. Um, and she was so into the scene and our prosthetic for it was so well done that our AD, the AD whose job is to make sure everything's running smoothly, he started to yell and freak out in the middle of the scene. Uh, and then, and we looked at him and we're like, what's going on? He's like, no, no, sorry, that was me as a man, not as an AD. <laughs> I have got to start coming to rehearsals. <laughs> what is going on? You should watch the movie. I think you'll like it. I promise you I'm going to see through that scene. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm going to send you a link and it's just going to be that scene on loop. <laughs> that is absolutely my idea. <laughs> What's coming up? What do we have going on next? Oh, well, Mania, which is my messed up lesbian love story, is making festival rounds. It's less gory, much more... Uh, <laughs> I was trying not to... I was like, how do I say this? Children. Um, and then an ending starring Heather Dorff uh, is in post-production right now. We are in prep for Besties. And then there's a bunch of films that I've done, some of which Heather has done as well, that are in post-production that we're just acting in. So, including Solitary Confinement, uh, Red Eye. I have a movie called American Guinea Pig Song of Solomon that I'm really excited for. Uh, and that's incredibly gory. And it's real gory. Super fun. So, lots of hope. Yeah, we got a lot of things coming. A lot, a lot of things coming. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> um, with with that much in post right now, that much. What's what are you the most proud of as a today that's completed? <laughs> Every day that I'm able to wake up and do what I love, I'm really proud because it's really hard. It's literally like a daily fight. You're just going to be a piece of answers all day. <laughs> no, it's so hard. Uh, right now, it's always going to be the last movie that got released because right. there's always like the fight to get distribution that's not going to be horrendous, that will do the film justice, that will make people money is really hard. So today it's truth or dare. Hopefully in a couple months, if you ask me that same question, it'll be mania, and then after that it'll be an ending. You know, because it's just, it's really hard to make a movie, get it out there for the world, get it properly released, and then get funding for another movie. Like, it's real hard. Oh, I know. <laughs> I got two in pre-production. I understand completely. And I think for me, I, you know, I, it is truth or dare for me. It's just a super fun film. It was the first time, well, not the first time we got to work with Jess, because we actually met. Right. On set in Florida, and then ended up working together like four months later. She hired me for her film, but um, it was the first time I got to like work with her. That was something that was hers. It was just a super fun time. Uh, it was one of the first bigger features I, uh, features I've been in, and yeah. So I mean, there's a lot of stuff though that I'm super proud of, and like a lot of sad things coming down the pipeline. It was super exciting. What's her best thing so far? Oh God, she does. I, I like torturing her because she gets tortured like no one's doing. I just wanted to put it out there the simplest question I could possibly ask, and I'm already scared of the answer. I mean, okay. Um, oh god, there's so many to choose from. Um, I really, I, I don't want to spoil anything, but that's okay. Um, there's a great scene that I have to remove something from her in Truth or Dare. And she's really, really great at it. But you would take your body parts. I mean, is your next film going to be the collector or something? No, that's already been done. Martin Dunstan did a great job. Shout out. Uh, however, if you wanted to make a third one, he's an actress. I am ready and willing. Uh, with that being said. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I just, sometimes people deserve bad things to happen to them, and there's a camera ready. 
she does like cream, you know. I do. Uh, in the Green Queen stream, there's a really funny we do the whipped cream challenge, uh, and Heather in the opening of this whipped cream challenge is one of my favorite moments of Heather on camera because she's so angry because I'm cheating. I'm cheating at this fictitious game that is not a real game. So it doesn't really matter if you cheat at not a real game, kids. It only matters if it's like an actual game with like actual judges. A whipped cream challenge is not a game. The actual nature of a whipped cream challenge is to be the one with the least amount of whipped cream. So I cheated. And she was so angry, like, like, so angry. Like, it's hilarious to watch somebody be that angry on camera and then to know that you're playing the whipped cream challenge. Like, she was so pissed. I'm very competitive. You want to impact people. Yeah. But that's also, like, one of my favorite moments in, like, recent times. It's just, she's hilarious. So, um, director to director, who, who would you just, like, Pack up, leave, and go meet him right now to direct right now. Uh, this guy named Hawk, I just met him, he's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's a given, but. <laughs>